My name is uh, Sylvester James Case Jr., but everybody calls me Jim, which is the way I like it. Uh, I'm a theoretical physicist. I'm currently uh, the Ford Foundation Professor of Physics and an affiliate math professor here at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about an organization that is very close to my heart. It's called the National Society of Black Physicists, or NSBP uh, as an acronym. It actually begins with the American Physical Society. Uh, there, uh, in uh, the late, middle to late 70s, uh, there was um, an effort by some, and some prominent physicists, uh, to uh, make the claim that people of African heritage were incapable intellectually of engaging a field like physics. The APS Council was comfortably comfortable saying nothing. In this case, it made it clear to the African American members of this professional organization, and the APS is the leading professional organization of physicists in the United States, but it drove home a message, namely that for this community, they needed an organization that would advocate on their behalf, that would not stay silent in the sort of racist assertion that people in the physics community were comfortable with at the time. So in some sense, the American Physical Society is the organization that birthed the NSBP by their inaction, by their inability to call out racist statements made by prominent physicists. So in 1977, I get my PhD. I then am fortunate enough to receive an appointment at Harvard University as a junior fellow in the Society of Fellows. And around the period 1979 or 80, I suddenly hear about this organization called the National Society of Black Physicists. Now, they had been meeting uh, a bit before that period, but I had never heard of them. And so the meeting was here on the East Coast. It was Philadelphia, I believe. And I was able to raise some funds or have my own personal funds and go and attend this meeting. And it was a mind-blowing experience for me. It was the first time that I had seen a substantial collection of African-American physicists at a meeting talking about physics, talking about education, talking about the excitement of doing physics, and it was just unexpected. I, in my own personal life, had always been in love with the idea of physics from about age 16, and so that was my personal goal. But I had, in the entire time between age 16 and uh, about age 29, I had met maybe only one or two other African Americans who felt the way I did about physics. And now suddenly, there was this community that I suddenly found myself part of. And so at that point, I realized the empowering nature of being able to make the statement that I am not alone. And to this very day, the National Society of Black Physicists remains open and welcoming to anyone, but with the goal that it will support African American participation in physics and will do so on the basis of non-racist and non-discriminatory practices, principles, and standards. Mm -hmm.